coming to you because I am loving the digital age right now. I am not totally relying on it, but I am loving it in particular to dolls, music production and um, digital art. I am, well, not I am, I have been for quite some time knowing about Arcade. Um, Arcade in a complete non-compound runoff sentence is basically a sampler of loops with a designated, designated, a, um, a particular set of pre-automated effects that probably was pretty long probably not as simple as it's a sampler that has delay reverb and distortion on it knowing that in the beginning I was reluctant to even um, bother it I think when I first tried it it was when they had the uh, try it out for free for 100 days um, I did that. I tried it a couple times. Uh, my computer did not step up to the plate because it was an older, slower computer. So that plus I couldn't hear or experience what the big rave was about then. I got frustrated. So I, I took it off. I think I actually took it off within 10 days. So for 90 days it's set on my drive and now that I have a updated computer a lot faster I was going you know going in my files and was downloading everything um, going through all my VSTs and I found arcade so rather I knew that one was outdated so I went to the website and see what was going on seen more YouTube videos of new packs and stuff and I forgot that they you know they upload sounds I think they say either every day or every week um, so here I am today thus this video I am in studio one and I've already jumped ahead sorry I'm, I'm so sorry um, my webcam is not functioning right um, I had a couple issues. It wasn't issues. I just had everything hooked up wrong. Um, so I haven't had a chance to really get everything set up. Maybe in a later video, uh, I will have and we'll start doing um, video and screen record. That way you guys can actually see that, number one, I'm not putting on the show. Number two, I have nothing fancy. Number three. My dog snores very loud, like scary loud. You would think it's a growl, but it's it's a snore. He snores so loud, just a few minutes ago, he woke himself up, got up, and walked in the living room and got on the steps. I'm worried about him, y'all. I'm worried. Anyway, it's cold outside. We're in the Midwest. What else do we got to do? <laughs> anyway. Chop, chop, chop. Chopped. Part of the output library. Now, I didn't mean to brag that I went ahead because now I wish that I didn't so I can go back to the browser, but I'm afraid if I do, I'll lose my settings and what I've done. So what I'll do is I'll let you hear this with everything that's going on. There's no way for me to be to uh, shut off the automation because I pretty much had it written in with the MIDI file. Uh, so with this by itself, sounds like this.
All right, that was weird. I don't know why my computer froze. Um, I don't know if you guys could see it or not. I'll find out when I start to edit the video. Um, actually, I may have. I may need to clean it anyway. So that is. Will it play without the effects? It's pretty much that piano sample. Um, and as you go along, you play the white keys for the samples and you play the black keys for the different effects. And these are preset. This one is uh, you speed up one time, you speed up half time. And I, and I said that wrong, I realized you speed up one bar. Is it in that? Yeah, speed up one bar, speed up a half, speed up a fourth, speed up an eighth. Don't tell my wife. We still to this day been together for almost 20 years. When you fill up a gas tank, matter of fact, leave a comment in the, leave a comment below, excuse me. I don't want to take sides. I don't want to say I'm right that she's wrong or that she's right and I'm wrong. But in school, when they taught us the measurement of an inch, there was a fourth. I'm sorry. There was the 16th, an eighth, a fourth, a half, three fourths, an inch, so on. Five eighths, seven eighths, blah, blah, blah. That basic unit of measurement is within like our gas tanks is like on the speedometer it's if you look at anything it's basically to visualize that you look at some it's in this whole form if it's marked somewhere is either a fourth a half or three-fourths or a complete full one part of itself you get gas I say either we're low, which we are a fourth the tank of gas, or we are kind of full, three fourths of a tank. And every time I say three fourths of a tank, she gets upset and think that I didn't put gas in there and that she needs to go get gas because we only have a fourth of tank. Like I said, I'm not going to take sides. I just thought I'd put that out there. It just ran across my mind. I may even edit this out. I just had a little mini rant. Anyway, back to this. Uh, that is pretty much the plugin in itself. Uh, like I said, what I'll do, I'll just open up another one. Let me just take this one out. And... I don't know. I, I need to try it in other dolls. I just happened to be in Studio One when I was messing with this, but it is resizable for those that um, you may not have a strong enough computer or the the um, the UI, the GUI appearance of it. FL Studio Gain out there, the whole don't distract me mode. You can resize it. Uh, with this, automatically you go straight to the browser. I wonder why these are blacked out. I can't get these. Nonsense. Why is this blacked out? Anyway, so. These are currently available sample packs uh <coughs> excuse me lines kits as they call them i guess right now i'm on the free edition or i'm doing the trial so i guess i don't get the full experience like i said i'm just trying this out and what you'll do venture synth so they have within a kit several I guess subfolders within a kit and you can listen to it.
I think I want that one. So in essence, what I think this is, I could be wrong. I don't want to, you know, speak into something that is not an actual thing. Unlike <clears throat> three fourths of tank, but it seems as if this is a loop broken down to every individual part and given certain effects and then placed on how many keys? 12. It's a full octave, ain't it? Let's see. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So 15 keys and 2, 4, 6, 10 effects. Now, let's say I just downloaded that and I'm ready to roll. First off, I love the, the design, just the, the approach to it. If you knew nothing about music, if you knew nothing about uh, arranging, producing, you knew nothing about anything, this is just inspiring, in inspiring itself. So just the drum. That's something. In all of anything that I've created, in anything that I've made, I don't believe I've ever made lo-fi. Okay, so you can't do two effects at the same time, which would be cool. Might want to look into that arcade. I'm just saying. So initially, right the back, it has a distortion box, a compressor, a phaser, lo-fi, just uh, sample rate and bits. Which, let me see, sample rate and just bits is pretty much... Da -da, da -da. Big Crusher. It's pretty much a big rush, ain't it? Mm, uh, did I pick the wrong thing? Da, 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 da. Now I gotta go and take this off. Gosh darn it. Anyway, <clears throat> yeah, my fault. I was looking dead at it. Big Crusher. Bit down. Down sample clip. Gain mix. Overflow. Fold back. This is one of the reasons why I like Studio One. And this is an artist version, so you don't even have to really go for the professional. Personally, me, these plugins that come with it is just not enough. Until, and true story, until they came out with the Fat Channel. Um, they may have already, I think they did have it out. Because I think I had it in version two. But it wasn't this build. It wasn't that UI. Okay, so you can do vertical or you can do horizontal. Me personally, I like the horizontal um, because if you put more than one plug in on the channel anyway, it pretty much lines it up horizontal. So it, to me, it didn't make any sense to be all the way at the bottom. And I get it like a rack extension. And that's even like a pet peeve of mine and reason. As you see, I got reason um, that you have to scroll down to do so much, you know, to get around to your racks rather than you're going from side to side on a mixer channel. Um, and the new update in 4.6 that they gave to the appearance of it is is lovely. But like I said, this, you know, I made the choice to go ahead and pay for the uh, plug in extension or extra update to the uh, artist version 
before I actually got all of these. So the fact that even out the box, you know, or the so-called intro version of, well, the intro version of Studio One is Prime. So that is skimpy. Like, that'll make you mad. It's a good program, but when they cut it down to the bare essentials, it is sad. <laughs> it's like, so sad. Makes two tears come out at the same time. But this is nice. Anyway, that was a quick plug for that. Not because they asked me to or they paid me or any sponsorship, but just because I love it. I love to use this on drums and on guitar. Speaking of, let's see, do I want to, yeah, it's just a track. Okay, so not speaking of, but going back to Arcade. Or in a sense, yeah, speaking of. So it has all 15 mixer channels. And it has the ability to the two sands. These are the effects, and they're pretty simple. Makes me think of Ableton. Very direct. If you don't know what you're doing, you will do something that you like. Put it like that. You, I don't think you would do anything that would, you know, shut down the program. Um, I think, you know what, if I'm not mistaken, I think I came across somebody that did a review on the first uh, time. Arcade was really pushing for, or output was really pushing for AK's, uh, Arcade's release. Was it MJ the Future? Shout out to MJ Future, MJ Future, MJ the Future, Machine Masters. It either was MJ, MJ oh, geez, I want to keep saying MJ, MG the Future. Or game from Busy Works. I'm gonna have to thump myself if I say that wrong. I just might not even try to spell it wrong. I don't know why, but I thought it was something else. Anyway, maybe it's because I was going to do the intro, but busy works beats, blah. busy works beats dot com. Not a plug, not a shout out. I mean, not a plug, but a shout out paying homage to those that have took the time to break down videos and plugins and such and such and give information rather than useless content and i'm speaking for a generation that had to grow up reading the damn encyclopedia the moment youtube really started to expand i learned how to crochet and change the fluid in my clutch that may not seem like a lot to a lot of people you may be laughing or thinking like the dude tripping but i had no idea at the time that the clutch had damn fluid so when I changed it, guess what? My damn vehicle worked just fine, which made me even matter because I spent almost $600 in labor and parts on some shit that didn't get fixed. I'm sorry. Let me stop. Another rant. Anyway, I'll put arcade. Very nice. Love the sleekness of it. Love the, I don't know, the modern approach to it. Um, if it was just the keys and the effects showing in the title, um, like I said, it would be a sampler with effects. Um, what's this? Huh. So you have the option to, okay. You can add your own sequences and your own modulations which I am starting to really, really enjoy those two things. I used to think they were so bland or so, I don't know, um, predictable. Because if you do something and you set something above 124 BPM, 
you're automatically either in dance or trance, you know. Uh, so the energy is going to always be high no matter what you do. It can be two notes as long as they, not, not so to speak, rep or repetitious, but as long as they have some type of sequential melody to it. But learning how to use it on different things, how to take the modulation and use it in the feedback of a reverb or the gate of a delay. Those are interesting, especially depending on what you put them on. Um, but with this, it's pretty self-explanatory. Uh, go check it out. Download it. Uh, don't download it. Just watch other people play it however you want to do it. But me personally, I will try to experience it myself for myself. Uh, this will be one of several videos that I release within a week. Um, I got a lot more coming. Um, I'm doing a ultimate canvas strip down between one, two, three, four dolls. And not to compare them, although there may be some type of critiques between the differences of the two, but this is not that type of uh, platform. So it will be only how to utilize them to your best of ability, to the best of your ability. Um, whatever your restrictions are, there are workarounds. We'll try to hit them on, hit them head on. Uh, in the meantime, if you guys got any questions, any comments, or anything that you would like to see in the near future, drop a comment below. Uh, send me a message. I'm on Instagram. I'm on Twitter. I'll put all my links and my handles in the description or up on a video somewhere here. I need to try to get my webcam up and going because this is new uh, I'm not doing a podcast or a radio show, so I would like for you to see my face. Um, if this was transparent then you can see all the people that was looking at you which might get worse so never mind this is okay um yeah uh th that's pretty much it i really don't know what else to say other than be kind be patient be honest as much as you can Always be creative. And most importantly, always be yourself. This is Milkman Music Beat Canvas. Signing off.
Hey guys, be sure if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you really like this, share it. And if you want to see more, hit that subscribe button.